Hi everyone and welcome to my video on the Fatty Arbuckle Scandal. Over the Thanksgiving holidays I managed to get into the St. Francis Hotel and not only did I manage to get into the St. Francis but I also got into the fateful room 1219 where Fatty Arbuckle and Virginia Frappe's fates came together and uh, Virginia Frappe ended up dying five days later from parentitis brought on by a ruptured bladder. Some people believe that Fatty Arbuckle was completely innocent in this regard and that absolutely nothing happened between him and Virginia Frappe in 1921, September 5th. I happen to be of the opinion that something absolutely did happen. I believe that he laid down or jumped on her and somehow ruptured her bladder, probably not, not you know, on purpose, and that that's how that whole thing went down. At any rate, you can make your own mind up. You can look up the scandal online. Enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. Hi, everyone. So I just wanted to let you guys know that I am in the hallway of the 12th floor of the St. Francis Hotel. And this is the floor where the Fatty Arbuckle scandal took place. And I'm going to show you. This is the hallway. And this is actually where it happened and we're going to see if we can get into the actual room. This is it in 2019. Hi, can I look around for a little bit? What? Can I just look in here for a little bit? Just want to look for a little bit. Do you know? Yeah, in this room. Just okay. want to look. Okay. No, I'm just looking. I'm oh, okay. just looking. This oh. is where it happened. Okay, so key yeah. The key card. Oh, I don't have the key card. It's I have a key card for my room. <laughs> Here. Yeah. No, I don't think it works here. It's just works on my room. I just wanted to take a look. The maid wasn't too happy with me, as you can see. One thing I forgot to mention about room 1219 was that this is also the room that Al Jolson was playing poker with friends in 1950 and had a heart attack yet. I wanted to show you these two adjoining squeezes to room 1219. They were also a part of the party that happened in 1921. Okay, so this is the main hallway of the St. Francis Hotel. And I wanted to show you this little area down here. Hold on. Because I thought it was so charming. And it's one of the few places that actually still has a little place like this. Because this hotel is so old and so classic. actually has this little, I don't know what people know about this, is it's actually got this little shoe sign place down here. People used to come and have their shoes shined. And there's also another reason why I wanted to show you this part of the hotel. Believe it or not, Gerald Ford had two assassination attempts and I completely forgot about the second one. But that took place right out here at this exit in 1975 when he was walking out to his limousine. A woman took a pot shot at him from across the street. There was a crowd of people out there waiting for him and she took a pot shot at him right from there. <laughs> I'm going to take you into the main lobby of the hotel. This hotel was built in the 1900s and it was survived the 1906 earthquake, relatively intact. The interior was kind of trashed, but the exterior survived relatively intact.
This is the lobby. This is a gingerbread cake. I mean, all this sugar. <laughs> Put up at the holidays. And as you can see, the lobby is changing. There's champagne bar here. This used to be kind of a couple stores. It was a much nicer, older looking thing. And um, here is the famous clock. It's been here forever. And every clock in the room, the central room, is centered to this clock. She's still keeping me for a good time. And here's a picture of Shirley Temple in front of the clock. So these are the little displays they have with the history of the hotel. That's what the lobby used to look like, probably during Fatty Arbuckle's time. And that's what it looked like after the earthquake inside. And the thing about this that I find interesting is that they used to have an entire display about the Fatty Arbuckle scandal right here in the lobby. That was only a year or so ago. And now that is completely missing. Hi everyone, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I kind of did it on the fly, which is why it wasn't the greatest. Also, I had to be sneaky because uh, I wasn't really supposed to be in room uh, 1219 or 1220 or 1221, but I managed to get a picture of 1219 and I did manage to get a picture of 1220 and 1221, uh, video, whatever. And uh, that's where the Fatty Arbuckle scandal took place and where uh, Virginia Frappe was uh, victimized either by Fatty Arbuckle or whatever, you know, it's up to you to decide anyway. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and please uh, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And also don't forget that I have three books out that make really great stocking stuffers. Uh, Tragic Hollywood, Beautiful, Glamorous, and Dead. Tragic Hollywood, Beautiful, Glamorous, and Still Dead. And my novel, uh, Goodbye Angel, Goodbye, When Dreams Aren't Enough. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed uh, the video, and I hope you guys have a great holiday, and take care.